Welcome back students. In this video, we are going to continue solving part B of computer applications 2020 onwards given by the ICSC board. I will demonstrate the program directly on the BlueJ environment so that we can easily verify it. Question number 4. Anshul Transport Company charges for the parcels of its customers as per the following specifications given below. Class name is given as A transport and then member variables are given here string name to store the name int w to store the weight of the parcel in kg and then int charge to store the charge of the parcel. Member functions given as usual it is void accept of to accept the name of the customer weight of the parcel from the user using scanner class. It is, it is being specified that you have to use scanner class. Void calculate of to calculate the charges as per the weight of the parcel as per the following criteria. Weight in kilogram charges per kilogram. Up to 10 kilogram it is 25 per kg. Next kilogram that is from 11 to 30 it is going to be 20 per kg above 30 it is going to be 10 per kg so it is a slab program we have to follow the calculations when we do in the program a surcharge of 5 percentage is charged on the bill and the next void print up to print the name of the customer weight of the parcel total bill inclusive of surcharge in a tabular form in the following format. So, it will be in the tabular format as given here. Uh, you will be giving first name, weight and bill amount and then it will be printed whatever is been calculated. Define a class with the above mentioned specification. Create the main method. Create an object and invoke the member methods. Let us first have the blueprint of this program in the mind. See here member variables are given here three variables are given apart from that we may also require to find the surcharge and also the bill amount so we may need two more variables and then we will take a, a void accept of there we will take the input so that is only these two are required and then charge we are going to calculate then calculate of as per the slab we will calculate and then we will write one more method that is void print of and then we will print it as needed here and then we will take uh, object in the main method and invoke the member methods. Let us go to BlueJ. I have copied the question here for my reference. So let us start. We need a input that is in scanner class. So we will write import java dot util dot scanner so class name is given there a transport here we need to declare the variables string name int w and also charge both are given uh, if we want to calculate the surcharge that it will be in the uh, decimal points so we can have double variable here double surcharge i will give s yes charge and then bill amount also will be in double so both i have declared here so we can have the comment here we can write s yes charge to calculate surcharge and bill to calculate final amount. Now we need to create a method called accept. So that is void, void accept of. Here we need to create a object for scanner class. I will write scanner sc is equal to new scanner of system dot in 
now we will prompt the user to give the name system dot out dot print uh, let it be print enter the name so we are going to assign now name is the variable given there name is equal to sc dot next line of we can also give line if it is a single name and then next we will prompt the user to give the weight of the parcel enter the weight of the parcel So here w is the variable w is equal to sc dot next int of. So we are not going to take any more thing so we will just close this method. Now we have to create the other method called calculate of. So void calculate of. So here if weight is lesser than or equal to 10, so if w is lesser than or equal to 10, charge is equal to, so whatever the weight is there into 25, right, w into 25, the next else if W is greater than 10 and W is lesser than or equal to 30. So next 20 this is 11 to 30. So that will be 20 as given in the question. Now what we are going to do charge is equal to uh, so listen if it is greater than 10 and lesser than 30 already up to 10 25 is the charge right so what we will do 10 into 25 plus the remaining so how do we find the remaining if it is lesser than 30 whatever the weight is there w minus 10 because 10 we have already calculated there so this one into i think it is 20 rupees so 20 let us confirm yes it is 20 rupees otherwise that is else charge is equal to first 10 will be calculated as calculated before 10 into 25 plus the next 20 20 into 20 plus the remaining thing. So, remaining will be W minus 30. Up to 30 we have already calculated into 10 rupees, right? Yes. Uh, here the calculation of charge is completed. Now we have to calculate the surcharge. So, what we can do? S yes, charge is equal to charge and plus 5 percentage of charge. So, what we do charge into 0 0.05 we can directly write that is the best method 0 0.05 otherwise we can also write 5 by 100.0 otherwise 5.0 divided by 100. So, after this we will close this now we need to print now void print of here we can also calculate the bill amount otherwise at last while printing we can do so we will calculate here itself bill is equal to charge plus surcharge okay. 
okay now we are going to print the name of the customer weight of the parcel and amount that is in tabular form it is said right so we will just print as a heading system dot out dot print line of i print in the double quotation as it is going to print whatever we give name so after this name we may need one tab space so backslash t i am giving for one tab space and then i am going to print weight weight and then again backslash t and then amount otherwise bill amount now we are going to print the actual values so the variable for name is name plus we need space so i give in double quotation backslash t and then plus w plus again space plus bill amount so that is the uh, bill variable after this we are going to create a main method where we will call above methods so we need to create a object for creating object we need the class name the class name is a transport and then we need a object name that can be any valid identifier just i give at is equal to new and then the constructor so that is at or ansport of so now with using the object name at we are going to call the methods so that is first is accept of next is calculate of next is print of then we close the method so here two more are extra one more is also yes let us compile there is no syntax error let us check enter the name i write a a a a as the name simply enter the weight of the parcel let us check below 10 let us give 7 so name is a a a weight is 7 kg and then bill amount has come including surcharge let us calculate about 10 students you can verify this manually once so that you will be confident that it is right enter the name just i give bb and then weight i give just 20 so it is been calculated as 472.5 so let us go to the next program write a program to input name and percentage of 35 students of a class 10 in two separate one dimensional arrays arrange students details according to their percentage in the descending order using selection sort method 
display name and percentage of first 10 toppers of the class. See, listen here, we have to create two single dimensional array, one having the name of the student, other having the percentage of the student. So, that is 35 is the size of the array. Then, we are going to sort it according to the mark wise that is the highest in the top. So, that is descending order. We must use the selection sort and then we will print only the toppers that is 10 toppers we are going to print. So, let us go to blue j and write a program. So, I have copied the question here. Let us start. We need to take the input for the arrays. So, we will import java dot util dot scanner class yes sort I give now I create a main method here Here we need a few variables. So, as we are going to sort out descending order, we are going to take the maximum value and the maximum index. Then for swapping, we need a temporary variables. There are two arrays. That is one is with the string, other one is with the integer type. So, we will take two swapping variables. And then for loops, we will take i and j. So, first I create int maximum value as mv and then maximum index as mi i take. And then uh, for percentage p temp i take that is for swapping. And then i and j for loops. So, for swapping string array I need a string variable that is name. So, that is name n temp i give. Now, let us create a scanner class object. Now, let us declare the arrays string n of. So, this is the single dimensional array is equal to new string of 35 is the array size given. So, I will create 35. Next, we need a percentage that is average, right? So, integer type int p array symbol is equal to new int of again 35 marks we are going to enter. Now, let us give the prompt before the loop itself so that it does not continue every time. System dot out dot print line of enter the name and percentage of 35 students we can give. So, let us go to loop now for the index starts from 0 if we know i already we have declared i is equal to 0 i is so last index will be 34. So, that is lesser than uh, 35 we can also give uh, lesser than length also. So, I am going to give just here n dot length of sorry length length of means it becomes for string then i plus plus so first let me take the input for the name n is the variable we have given for array n of i so that is 0 1 2 3 up to 35 uh, so that is from 0 to 34 it will take 35 elements, sc, 
dot next of so that we are going to give just single name here p of so that is percentage so every time after entering the name we will take the percentage sc dot next int of after that we need a loop for sorting when i is equal to 0 i is lesser than n dot length minus 1 i will give so instead of lesser than 35 minus 1 that is 34 we give like this then i plus plus students we are just solving the paper here if you want to know uh, full detail about this selection sort you can watch my previous video the maximum value we are going to assign as mv as the first one so that is p of i according to percentage only we are going to sort so we are going to sort p of i later it will check whether which is the maximum one and then it will swap so the index of that mi is equal to i to check the greater one we are going to have a for loop here for j is equal to i plus 1 so the first index and the next index it is going to take then j is lesser than n dot length and then j plus plus here if p of j is greater than maximum value then what we are going to do maximum value becomes p of j sorry small j and maximum index becomes j so it will be doing first pass and then when it uh, completes get this inner loop get completed the maximum value from that particular array might have been found then it will swap that is outside the inner loop the swapping here we will do p temp is equal to p of i then p of i we are going to put it p of mi and then again p of mi is equal to p temp students see here we have sorted the percentage but name also should be sorted isn't it we can sort as the marks are getting sorted the same way the names also will get sorted so that the particular student only will have the whatever the marks he has taken so we will swap as the marks are swap n of i and then n of i is equal to n of mi n of mi is equal to n temp
now after this we will come out of this outer for loop and then we need to print the name and the average so let me give like this system dot out dot print line of here i give name and then one tab space and then now to print all the names and percentage i need for loop i write here for i is equal to 0 it is been asked to only the 10 toppers so we have done in the descending order from that we will take only 10 elements and print not all the elements so we need a for loop 0 to 9 otherwise 0 to lesser than 10 i is lesser than 10 i plus plus now i just simply print the values sorry i give print enough i so that is name it is going to print and then let me have one tab space here plus p of i so that is percentage it is going to print so let me give in the next line otherwise it will be in the same line so again i give a escape sequence to make a next new line so we have closed method and the class let us compile this no syntax error students i don't want to show that 35 students name and the percentage i enter so i will just change this to 5 or 6 so let me give six students so here n dot length is there so there won't be any problem from six i will print the top two students name and the percentage so lesser than 2 i give there is no syntax error let me run this program so enter the name of the percentage of 35 students we have not changed the prompt it's okay let us enter six details simply i give a 56 b 78 c 65 sorry c 65 has become a name it's okay 65 D ninety eight E eighty nine F ninety nine. Let us check. It is not been sorted. There may be small mistake. Let us check that. Now uh, see here uh, instead of J we have given I so we should be very careful compile this once again I will run let us enter now uh, A seventy eight B Sorry, hundred C twenty five D sixty five E seventy two F hundred. Sorry, hundred. Oh, so you can see that b is hundred, 
then f is 100 so it is being sorted and then the toppers list has displayed here well, let us go to the next program Question 6, design a class to overload a function sum of as follows. So, here this is the function name given, it should be overloaded. First one with, which is returning integer type and then having two variables, both are integer type. What it does, sum of the even numbers in the range of A and B. So, the starting and ending number is given as the input and then the sum of all the even numbers between the ranges taken inclusive of a and b the next one sum uh, double n so it is returning double type then n also is double one with one double argument calculate and return the product of the following series so it is starting from 1 into 1.2 into 1.4 so by 0 0.2 it is increasing up to n the next one, it is returning integer type, it is taking the argument also as integer 1, with one integer argument, uh, calculate and return the sum of only odd digits of the number n. For uh, example, it is given sample 43961 is the number, so that is 43961, here it is going to take all the odd digits, so that is 3 is odd here it is taken, 9 is odd here it is taken and then 1 is odd here taken, then it has been uh, added together. And then it has been asked to write a main method to create an object and invoke the above method. So, we have to write the main method and call the methods. So, these are all with parameters, when we call we should uh, mention the parameters, remember it. So, let us go to blue j. So, here is the question which has been copied. Okay, let us start, we do not need to take any input here, the class name I give as overload itself, it is not mentioned in the question. So, I need to have int sum of with two integers that is given in the question int a comma int b. Here I will have uh, some variable because it to be returned. Int I will take sum 1 is equal to 0 in the beginning default value then for so int i is equal to the range is given a to b. So, a will be there then i is lesser than or equal to b i plus plus. So, from this range what it will do, it will take only the even numbers and take the sum. So, for that we have to check the condition if i mode 2 equal to equal to 0 means it is going to be even number. So, then what I am going to do sum 1 equal to sum 1 plus i we can give and then it is going to return. So, we come out of this for loop and then we will write return someone. So, that is all the first method get over. We can also check this method separately. So, let us try that. No syntax error. So, we have to create the instance there. Then I run this. For example, just I give 5 and then to 10. So, it will be adding only 6, 8 that is 14 and then 10 is 24. So, let us check. So, 24 it returned. Close. So, let us start continuing it. Next one is double type, double sum double n. Double type sum 2 is equal to, 
here we are going to multiply and the series is multiplication so I should start with 1 for uh, let us take double variable here double i is equal to 1.0 then i is lesser than or equal to n what it is going to do by 0.2 it is going to increase so just i give here i plus equal to 0.2 so every time it is going to add 0.2 with that sum 2 is equal to sum 2 multiplied by i then it should return it is only one statement in the for loop so that I have not given the curly braces return sum 2 so let us even try this I will give 1.2 only 1 into 1.2 it will print as 1.2 itself let us check you can check manually as you need for the correctness of the program let us do the next one the third one here int sum of int n here I need to extract the digits for that I will create a variable called int ld and then sum 3 is equal to 0 as we are going to just add initially 0 then we need a loop here we don't know how many digits will be there when the user gives so when we are not confirm about the number of iterations we will take while loop while n is greater than 0 what we will do now we will extract digit by digit so that is last digit I have taken right ld is equal to n mode sorry capital N cap, mode 10 so it takes the last digit after dividing by 10 the remainder will be once if we are going to check now whether it is odd or not if odd only we are going to sum otherwise we will not do anything ld mode 2 equal to equal to 1 so then it is odd right now we will do sum 3 is equal to sum 3 plus ld and then we should remove that last digit for that we will take only the quotient so n is equal to n divided by 10 so this will keep continuing until n is greater than 0 we have to print the sum at last that is returning return sum 3 so let us check so I will run int 1 c4565 then 1 see here 4 is uh, even number 5 is odd number and then again 5 is odd number so 10 10 plus 1 is 11 so you can see 11 is been written close so we have checked all the methods now we need to create a main method and then call this public static void main of string of arguments let us give the class name overload I just give o is equal to new overload of o dot sum of two integer arguments so I give 6 comma 10 and then o dot sum of one double type I give 1.4 and then o dot 
sum of 2, 3, 4, 7. So, compile this no syntax error. Let us go to the next question. Using the switch statement, write a menu driven program to perform following operations. To print the value of z, where z is equal to x cube plus 0 0.5 into x divided by y, where x ranges from minus 10 to 10 with an increment of 2 and y remains constant at 5.5. See here, here it is given minus 10 to 10 as the value of x. So, we have to print all the values when x is minus 10, minus 8, minus 6 up to 10. So, we need a for loop starting from i is equal to minus 10 and lesser than or equal to 10. The next one to print the Floyd's triangle with n rows. The Floyd's triangle will be the continuous number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like that. Then whatever the number of rows given, so that many rows it is going to print. Now we need input, so we will do import java dot util dot scanner class menu I have given. Now I write a main method. I need to take option for the menu. So, I give int o scanner sc is equal to new scanner of system dot in. Then I give the menus system dot out dot print line of here just I print menu. And then now I will continue this. So, 1 is for value of z, right? 1 dot the second one is Floyd's triangle. of n rows. So, now I will prompt the user to enter the choice. Here I give print instead of print line. Then I am going to assign the value. So, O is the option. O is equal to sc dot next int of. So, user will enter whether 1 or 2. Now, we are going to start switch. The option which we have taken is O. Now, case 1. We need two variables. Here one is double z that is the value it is going to calculate and then y's value is already given as 5.5 there. So, I initialize directly here. Then I need a for loop int x is equal to as I said minus 10 x is lesser than or equal to 10 x plus equal to 2. So, every time 2 is been incremented, then I want to calculate here. So, we know the math function z is equal to math dot p o w of x comma 3 x cube it is plus 0 0.5 into x. This is 
whole divided by y divided by y now it should print all the values of z so i give system dot out dot print line of value of z while x is so it will be better to understand x is x plus so whatever the value it starts from minus 10 minus 10 minus 8 minus 6 so all will be displayed easy to understand the output plus so that is z it is going to print then what we will do we will break this do not forget break you will lose the marks the next we will start case 2 case 2 so i need two variables int n and then also the case value it will be keep increasing so that is ij and then k i take i and j for the loops and then k is to increment the value continuously to uh, write the variables there now system dot out dot print of so i ask the number of rows from the user enter the value for n for int i is equal to 1 i is lesser than or equal to n so this many rows we need so outer loop is for rows then here again i need a inner loop that is for int j is equal to 1 j is lesser than or equal to i so it will be right angle triangle j plus plus now i need to print case value system dot out dot print only not print line so it will be in the same line these are columns so k i am going to print with that some space is required otherwise it will look like a single number so i give some two space then i need to increase the k so always it keep increasing and prints it doesn't relate to i loop or j loop but we have not taken any input we have not assigned it so n is equal to sc dot next in tough see we should be very careful about this so outside this loop we will give a line space then what we are supposed to do we can break otherwise we can just leave like that in the question it is not been asked to display the message for wrong option given by the user so that is optional we can give or we without that also you will get full marks here we will not give that but in case in the question it has been asked to display the message when the user gives the wrong input means we must write a default remember it compile no syntax error let us run this so now i give one as the option see there you could see for minus 10 when x value is minus 10 when x value is minus 8 all the values it has been calculated and printed here that is value of z now let me try with the next one option number 2 i give here so now i it will be asked how many rows i need i may need four so you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten continuously it is being printed four 
rows. So let us go to the next question. Write a program to input and store integer elements in a double dimensional array of size 4 into 4 and find the sum of all the elements. So here only in this year double dimensional array programs are also there. I will give you more videos on the double dimensional array but I have already taught how to declare and the retrieve the variable from the double dimensional array. So let us do that. So I give import java dot util dot scanner class double dimensional array I give. public static void main of string of arguments now I will take the input from the user for that scanner class object scanner sc is equal to new scanner of system dot in I prompt user enter the values for double dimensional array. I have not declared the double dimensional array. So int arr of two times of array symbols gives the double dimensional array new int of the size is given as 4 into 4 so 4 rows and 4 columns so i need to take sum of all the elements so i give int sum is equal to 0 now i need a for loop we need a two for loop for double dimensional array for int i is equal to 0 i is lesser than 4 then i plus plus uh, next for loop so before that let me give the prompt so that every row the user will come to know it is next row system dot enter 4 elements for a row. So that is uh, the row number we will give. So i will be the row. So what I do here, it starts from 0 but the row starts from 1 when we count. I will give i plus 1 there. i plus 1 plus A colon. Now I will give the inner for loop for int j is equal to 0, j is lesser than 4, j plus plus. So now let me take the input arr of i and j see here i is the row when i is 0 j will become 0 1 2 3 so that is 4 elements it will take again the outer for loop it will go i becomes 1 and then like that totally 4 times it will take sc dot next int of just we need to sum all the elements so in this for loop only we can add as the user enters the value it will take the sum sum plus equal to arr of now it will sum and then we are going to print the sum outside the loops plus sum. It is a very simple one. 
So, let us compile no syntax error. So, enter 4 elements for row 1. So, I will enter 5, 5, 5, 5, 4 times 5, then now I will give 4 times 6. So, now the total is 44. Let me give now 2. I am giving similar because it will be easy for calculation to check. Now, I will give 8 here. So, this becomes 40 plus 44, 84, correct. Let us go to the last question. Write a program to input a string and convert it into uppercase and print the pair of vowels and numbers of pairs of vowels occurring in the string. For example, input is beautiful beauties. So, that is pair of vowels. See here E and A. This is a pair of vowel and then again next A and U. Sorry. A and U are pairs like that. Here again E and A is there. Again A and U is there. Then here I and E is there. So, all these pairs to be printed and then has to be counted and then print the number of pairs there. So, let us go to a program. So, again I will take import java.util.scanner So, I need a variable string variable string s then I need two character variable to check the first character and the next character. So, I will take char c1 and then c2 then I need to count. So, I will take int count initially 0 now I need to take a input scanner class object now then I prompt the user enter the string So, I assign now s is equal to sc dot next line of line of takes the complete sentence until you press the enter key next means it will take only one word until the space given. Now, we need to convert this into uppercase s is equal to s dot to uppercase of we need a for loop and then inside the for loop only we need to print. So, let us give just the reference before the for loop system dot out dot print line of otherwise print will give pair of vowels. Now, for The index value always starts from 0. So, int i is equal to 0 is lesser than or, or sorry lesser than only the last index is 1 lesser than the length. So, s dot
length of here if we take i as 0 i plus 1 will be 1 so at last if we see it will go out of bounds because the last character and then plus 1 is not available so we will go before that only so i give minus 1 then i plus plus now i take first character that is c1 is equal to s dot caret i the next character also i have to check whether that is also vowel or not so i assign c2 is equal to s dot caret i plus 1 this is next letter here now how i will check if c1 equal to equal to whether a or i will copy this i will check all a e i o u a i have checked now i pasted five times totally e i o u so it is checking whether c1 is a r e r i r o r u and see this should be inside one bracket again means if this is true and the next character also any one of this so all this but it should be c2 see here there is one extra let us delete now i will copy this all this let me in the next line so i should close this if now this is c2 right c2 then what it will do it will just print system dot out dot print of c1 plus c2 if we give like this it will take the ascii value and add both so better we will give one double quotation here so it becomes a string there nothing there it cannot be added so it will display nearby plus one space to differentiate this one or two space now if it is there it prints and then also count increases count plus plus i give so outside the loop we will print the count the face will be printed every time the count will be printed once at last so here without print line we gave so we need to create a new line for that i give backslash n then number of pair of vowel vowels plus count just compile this no syntax error let us run this we will give the same example which was given in the question paper duties so you can see here here it is shown 17 or oh, let us check what mistake we have done there most probably curly braces we have not given yes uh, for if we need to give the curly braces there so otherwise only the printing system is in the condition 
the count is not in the condition compile this and run once again so you can see now that's why it is always better to dry run once after writing the program students keep watching my channels it will lead you to get excellent marks maybe 100 you may get thank you students